Okay, here's uh, one of the things I've started studying is uh, the Arduino. And uh, the first thing that you do when you get an Arduino is you do one of these blinker sequence circuits on it just to learn how to program the Arduino and, and what it does and all that. And after I did this little uh, um, darning needle motor, I wondered if I could just hook it up to this thing and uh, see if it would run. It wouldn't run directly, but it would run with a reed switch on it. And uh, it, it turned into a really kind of a very interesting little uh, study of linking a computer, basically, to a motor and how effective that can be when you do that. When you take logic and you apply the logic um, down to the firing of a pulse motor, you can really, really do some fun stuff. And this was my first step in learning how to do this. And uh, Tensor Koala is who turned me on to this. And uh, I'm way behind the curve on learning Arduino. And uh, it's uh, harder than I thought. But I've got it hooked up here to a 5 volt uh, cell phone charger a power supply uh, indicator of the 5 volts and the amperage and then this is a sequence blinker that uh, blinks for so many microseconds in a sequence over and over and over again it's looped and on this one right here I've got a reed switch in series with it so when the magnets go around there I'll stop it here when these two magnets go around there, they trigger that reed switch. And the reed switch causes that to blink depending on when the reed switch uh, closes. And you can see it's starting to blink in a sequence. Well, this will speed up more and more and more. And what that means is I'm firing this thing not all the time. I'm only firing it part of the time. And uh, that can be a real advantage when you're doing pulse motors, is you can uh, you play around with the, uh, the timing on that thing very, very, very accurately when you tell that electromagnet to push against the permanent magnet. And uh, I just thought this was uh, rather interesting. This is what it sounds like. Hear that? And now I can go back in the computer and I can alter this program all around to tell that thing to fire when I want it to fire, how long I want it to fire. And uh, if you put a sensor in there, like a hall sensor, of course, you can get away from the reed switch and now you can do some even more fascinating stuff with it. But anyway, this was my first step in linking computer control to a pulse motor. Thanks for watching.